Hello friends, I'm Mrs. Menapace and I'm so glad that I get to spend some time with you this morning. Today I'd like to talk about things that are important in our lives that we can't actually see. And the first thing I'd like to talk about is air. There is air all around us. But if I go like this and then open my hand, there's nothing there. I don't see the air. I don't see it up here. I don't see it in my hands. But there is a way that we can tell that the air is here with us. And one of those ways is to use a fan. I'm gonna turn my camera around and I'm gonna show you an electric fan that I have on the table. And this is my fan. And my fan looks kind of silly because I put some ribbons there for a reason. We're going to use some of our senses to see if we can figure out if there is air coming out of the fan. So let's try to use our sense of sight with, with our eyes and our sense of hearing with our ears. And so we can tell if there is air coming out of the fan. I'm going to turn it on now. You ready? There we go. Wow. The first thing I notice is that it's very loud. I can hear the air moving over the blades in the fan and it's making a sound. And it sounds kind of like the wind when it rushes through the trees. So that's my first sense that I'm using. My second sense is my sense of sight. I can see that these ribbons are dancing around because the air going over the blades in the fan is pushing out and it's pushing the ribbons and making them jump and dance around. And the third sense I'm gonna use is my sense of touch. I'm going to put my hand in front of the fan like this and I can feel the air coming out of the fan. So I'm pretty sure that there's air coming out of the fan. I'm going to turn it off now, and I'm going to come back on this side. The second thing I want to talk about today that is that we can't actually see but is important in our lives is the Holy Spirit. And today is the day of Pentecost, which is the first time the Holy Spirit was given to people on earth. Um, so on the day of Pentecost, all of Jesus' friends, the apostles, were sitting together very sad because Jesus had left to go back up to heaven after Easter. And while he, he was on earth with the apostles, he told them that it was their job after Jesus left to continue telling people about Jesus's love for everyone. And the apostles were sad one, because Jesus had left and they missed their friend. And two, because they didn't really know how to go around the world to tell people about Jesus' love. So they were a little bit afraid and they were all together in this house, just kind of sitting, being sad and being scared. And Jesus and God sent them a gift called the Holy Spirit. And the gift of the Holy Spirit was invisible, just like air. We can't, we can't see the Holy Spirit, but it's with us. And it was with the apostles. And do you know how they knew that it was there? The Bible tells us that there was a great sound like the rushing of the wind, kind of like the fan. And it filled the room where the apostles were sitting. And they heard this great sound and they were wondering what was happening. And all of a sudden they saw flames, tongues of fire, the Bible says, flames on top of each of their heads. So they used their eyes to see the flames and they used their ears to hear the wind rushing. And they used this, their sense of feeling, not their fingers, but they're feeling inside their heart because the Holy Spirit filled their hearts so that they were no longer afraid and they 
burst out of the house and they went in all different directions and they started telling everybody in the world about Jesus's love. And we call this Pentecost and we celebrate it every year. And the reason I'm wearing red and some of the ribbons on the fan were red is because red is the color of Pentecost to remember the fire, the tongues of fire that were on the apostles' head and the fire that was kind of inside their hearts that made them leave their house and go out to tell everybody about Jesus' love. And one way we can think about the Holy Spirit is it's kind of like a big hug. When you're sad or when you're scared, if someone you love gives you a big hug, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel braver and happier. And that's kind of the way the Holy Spirit was to the apostles thousands of years ago. So I'd like you to remember that the Holy Spirit is like a big hug that makes you feel brave. Let's pray together. Okay, I'm going to say, say the prayer and then you repeat it after me, okay? Okay. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to help us be brave. Please help us to share the Holy Spirit with others who need to know that Jesus loves them very much. Amen. Thank you. Thanks for listening. And I hope I see you again very soon. Bye-bye.